Well, hi everybody. It's Dr. Jamnadis again from Cardiovascular Interventions here in Orlando. And this is a holiday message. Okay, this is a great time of the year. And I know there's going to be a lot of festivities and meeting people and having fun. So I just want to give you a few hints and make it really short and quick. So during this time, you need to remember my advice that I always give. I always say non-processed foods, non-refined products, no man-made products. You want to also stay away from vegetable seed oils. You want to eat whole foods. You want to eat a wide variety of plants. And of course, I always talk about intermittent fasting, which is very important. That don't nibble all day long. Don't eat five meals a day. But what do you do during the holidays? So this video is about what and what we can do and how we can actually get through the holidays without hurting ourselves too much or gaining too much weight or throwing our metabolism off. And I want to start by saying that, look, at this time, you can indulge. You can have some foods that you normally would not consume, right? But have it in limitation, all right? And what we need to do is we need to make up for that. How do you make up for that? How do you make up for the indiscretions that we might have, that we did consume some chocolate and we did consume cake and we did consume lots and lots of carbohydrates and simple processed foods? So this is all about that. What can you do to counteract this? And the first thing that you need to do is to realize that you're not eating for yourself. You are eating for yourself and your bacteria. So when you start eating processed foods, when you start eating refined products, the difference is that you're not eating for your bacteria because everything that you're eating is going to be consumed in the upper part of your intestines. The sugars, the, the proteins, the vitamins, they all get absorbed in the upper portion. And what gets absorbed in the lower portion is the fiber. Now, if there is no fiber in your diet, those poor bacteria are getting nothing. So when you start consuming these processed foods, you need to realize that, gosh, I didn't eat for my bacteria. What did they get? What stayed behind? Processed foods have no fiber. That's the difference between processed foods, refined products, and real foods, whole foods. Whole foods have all the fiber in them. So when you are having a holiday season, you need to eat for your bacteria also, so don't forget the fiber. So what I do is that if I'm eating all that stuff, I will make sure that I eat some vegetables also. And I may not eat a whole lot, but I'll eat vegetables and a variety of vegetables. So I eat a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. I get a whole variety of vegetables in my diet, a little bit of everything. Also different colors of food, the phytochemicals as we call them, or the phytonutrients. Those phytonutrients that are in colored foods, all the coloring, red, yellow, orange foods that you eat, is not for you. You don't absorb them. It's for your bacteria. Look. It's about time we realize you're a symbiotic organism. Your 10, 10 trillion cells plus the 100 trillion bacterial cells in your gut. Why do you need to feed them? Because they are the ones that are producing a lot of the other valuable chemicals that's released into your bloodstream by the bacteria, and that's why you're healthy. Do you know if I wiped out all your bacteria from your gut right now, you'd probably be very, very sick within six months, even before that probably. So you need to eat for your bacteria. And there's a whole lecture on the microbiome and how it affects your metabolism. And I'll go over that with you all next time. But for now, you need to understand that you need to eat colorful foods, lots of vegetables with different kinds of uh, fiber, and fermented food. Why fermented food? Because they're full of bacteria in them. So if you're not feeding the bacteria at least, well, here, here come some friends and you throw some bacteria down into your gut. So you need to eat kefir, a little bit of yogurt, a little bit of kefir, a little bit of kimchi in your salad or a little bit of uh, sauerkraut. But don't forget it. So go out, indulge, have all the fun. But do take the fiber, do take some fermented foods, take some phytochemicals, put them in there. And then fiber, regular fiber. Look, many times I don't get enough fiber in my diet. So what I'll do is I'll take a scoop full of fiber supplement. It's called inulin, inulin plus FOS. It's called inulin plus FOS. It's clear. It's soluble fiber. Put that in a glass of water. Drink it down. So, okay. So I've had this indiscretion, but here it is. I'm also feeding my, my bacteria. I've got the fiber. My fiber also reduces the rate of the absorption of all my other nutrients. So in the glass of water that I have, I put my fiber in there. So you see how I've kind of nullified the effects. Because if I consume a lot of carbohydrates, but I consume it with fiber, the rate of absorption is lower. So the, the, the amount of insulin production will be less. So take your glass of water, put some inulin in it, and then have that with your meal, and that's going to be better. Okay, so I think that that's, that's fine. The next part I want to talk about very briefly with you, and we'll go over this in more detail in my future uh, videos, is even though you're having fun in that, try to get seven and a half hours of sleep. 
because that's very important. It's important for your metabolism. There's a whole sleep lecture we talk about. Try to get that sleep. Next, hydrate yourself. You need to drink plenty water, especially during the, uh, uh, this season. You need to drink plenty, plenty water. Plenty water to hydrate yourself, especially if you're drinking coffee and alcohol. For every glass of alcohol or shot of alcohol, you should be taking one glass of water because that will dilute out the effects of the alcohol. Remember, alcohol wipes out your bacteria, just like they wipe out the bacteria on your hands. So if you consume too much alcohol, that will wipe out the bacteria in your gut. All the more you need to do what I just said before. So watch out for the alcohol. Replace those poor bugs. You don't want to keep killing those poor bugs, okay? Those bugs are working for you. They actually have a symbiotic relationship with you. They're there for a reason. So we'll talk about that in the future. Next, cut out the stress. Look, it's not worth it, okay? The stress is just not worth it. During this time, learn to forgive. Find another way to look at things. Forgive the situation. Be joyful. The more you laugh, the better your chemicals in your body are. The lower your blood pressure goes, less your adrenaline goes, less sticky you are your platelets, less is your cortisol. So be, uh, be joyful. Be forgiving. Don't be so judgmental. And the power of belief. Don't feel guilty. See, a lot of people, if they feel so guilty that, oh my God, I ate all this stuff and I'm going to die. I'm going to get uh, diabetes. I'm going to get a heart attack. Well, it's the power of belief. If you believe that that's going to happen to you, then that's going to happen to you. You need to believe contrary. You should say, I know that those are not always the best foods, but I took countermeasures. I took countermeasures. And because I did countermeasures, I'm going to be fine. And I look forward to getting back to my routine in the future. So don't go around feeling guilty. Oh my gosh, I ate all this food and I did all this. Now I'm doomed. No, it's not like that. Okay, stop feeling guilty. A lot of people come out of the holidays feeling really guilty for all sorts of different reasons. Don't do that. The next thing is counteracting your metabolism, okay? Because you know you did this, the indiscretion was there, da 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 da. So what can well, what else can you do? Another important thing is you gotta go outside into nature. So even though it's the holidays, if the sun's coming up and you have a few moments, go and get some sun rays. You must do that because that resets your circadian pattern. You're going to sleep better at night. You're going to get a lot of benefit just by going out into the sun at least 10 to 15 minutes a day. So get some sun. Don't stay indoors. Remember to go out. Next, biophilia. What does biophilia mean? That means you're inhaling all nature around you. So you go for a short walk in the park. Go for a short walk around the neighborhood. Inhale the neighborhood because all of these trees and grasses, they release chemicals that go into you and they actually benefit you. It's called biophilia. That's why you feel good, actually. You don't just feel good because it's a mental process. You feel good because there's actually an interaction between your environment and you. This is real chemistry in action. Go. Take care of it. Go to the seaside if you're over there. Go for, go, go for a walk. Go walk on the, on the beach. Get into the water. Let the bacteria in salt water in the ocean get onto you. Even if you walk through it, get the magnesium through your skin. So get some, some, some contact with nature. Get clean air. Don't stay indoors. Breathe in. Nice clean air. Go outside. So get the sun. And then you'll find that you'll even sleep better. So we talked about a lot of things here. Yes, it's important that your diet... Uh, is so important and you don't want to mess it up forever but in a holiday season you need to go out have fun with your friends and your family and your loved ones and you got to party uh, but if you just put some of this into it also you will nullify the bad effects and you'll come out just wonderful look look holidays cause flu and other viruses holidays are a terrible time it's very stressful there's an epidemic of illnesses that occur around the holidays. You can counteract that because if you do all the things that I just said, your immune system will also benefit. Your immune system will benefit. Your hormonal system will benefit. Your whole body will benefit. So keep these things in mind. I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. And next year, there's going to be lots of videos from me. So look forward to seeing you all then, okay? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and pass it on. Take care. Bye-bye.